Hey, Andrew Tillman here with MachineSkills.com. In this quick video, I have a couple little tips to talk about in regards to live playing. Um, it's just a couple of different ways to use Choke Group and PadLink um, to sort of lay out your samples in a way that really helps out when you're playing live. So first of all, I'm just going to show you what I'm working with here. So playing live is one of the most fun parts of the machine, I think, and there's a couple different features uh, that I want to talk about in this video that really make it helpful um, to layer your samples in an easy way that makes them very playable. And so both of these are located in the pad mode menu. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that, and since we'll be working with this um, the whole video, I'm just going to go ahead and lock it in up there. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is different choke groups in machine. And if you're not familiar with this concept, um, basically any sample in the same choke group will cut that other sample off. Um, so only one sample in each group can be playing at a time. It might sound a little bit confusing, but the best way to do it is just to show you what, what I'm working with here. So um, I have some melodic samples loaded in this kit, and these are in the same choke group. So I have, I have one there, and you can both see that, um, that these are in group one. And what that means is when I try to play them um, one after another, they're going to cut the other sample off. So only one of those will be playing at a time. It's a nice way to make sure they don't have any weird overlapping sounds and keeps everything nice and clean, um, especially when those those pads are sort of in a different key or, or a different sound of them. So it's really easy to use. All you have to do is select the samples you want to work with and then place them in the same choke group. Um, as a general rule of thumb, I kind of like to uh, keep different sounds of different categories in different choke groups. So for instance, my melodic sounds are all in group one. And then I have some bass sounds down here on these green pads, and those are in group two. So these will cut each other off, but they won't cut off these melodic samples. And that allows me to do things like this. So they're cutting each other off because they're in the same sort of category, um, but the sounds that go together, so for instance, um, the sound and this bass, those won't cut each other off because they're in different groups. Um, so that's just something that I use a lot um, whenever I want sounds to only play at one time and not overlap with any other ones, i uh, go ahead and use that choke group feature. And it's also worth mentioning that you have this mode here. You can either choose between master and slave. So if we just mess around with this, right now both of these are on master, but if I change this one to slave, what that's going to do will no longer cut that other pad off. So this will only be cut off by the master one here. Um, so that is a, another way to further increase the, the, the things you can do with choke group. Um, so there we go, that covers some ideas there. I'm um, gonna just experiment with that, um, especially with those samples in the same categories. The next feature is uh, linking pads with this, with this option here. Um, and you can see it's pretty similar to the choke group where you have your different groups and your different modes. Um, so what this does is allows you to basically um, link two pads to play at the same time. And I've done this with my kick and my crash cymbal. So you can see both of these are in pad link group two. And I have this pad here on master and my kick on slave. Um, if I just per if I just put both of these on master, um, both the, both of these are going to play whenever I play one of the pads. So those are basically linked together. They're going to play in sync. Now if I change my kick to slave like it was originally, it'll play on its own if I play that pad, but if I play the crash, it will now play both. Um, so the master one will play the different pads in the same link group. Now this is really cool because I'll basically be playing a crash cymbal always with a kick drum. Um, so instead of having to hit these two pads here, I can just do And that just makes things a little bit easier to play live. So I often use the link group um, for, for drum sounds, and you can also do it to link different melodic sounds that work together. So like I was talking about earlier, these two work together, so I could go ahead and put both of these in the same group. And that'll make things, um, when you're playing them, a little bit easier. So again, um, there's lots of applications for these two little things in the pad mode menu, um, especially in the context of live playing. Um, so I hope this gives you some ideas. Again, uh, just play around with it and see what you come up with. 
Thanks for watching and I will see you next week.